Does your dress have to go over your head? No. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Relax. You can't screw up her hair. You just tease it and make it look like a brown football helmet. Well, I must have missed the passage in Emily Post that said all abuse is heaped on the mother of the bride. Oh, hush, girls. Shelby, your mama never tells us much. What's Jackson like? He's really cute. And I thought he was a pest at first, but then he kind of grew on me, and now I love him. You made a very good catch, Shelby. Louisiana lawyers do well, whether they want to or not. Oh, I don't really care. Well, I mean, don't get me wrong. The money is real nice and all, but I just like the idea of growing old with somebody. My dream is to get old and sit on the back porch covered with grandchildren and say no and stop that. <laughs> Are you going to quit your nursing job? Never. I love it. I love being around all those babies. Drum and I both feel that she should not work after she gets married. Well, I'm so anxious to discuss this topic for the 900th time this week. You should not be on your feet all day long. You should be kinder to your circulatory system. You know what you need in here, Truvy? Mm -mm. You need a radio. Music is a wonderful thing to have in the background. It takes the pressure off everybody feeling they have to talk so much. Oh, I used to have one, but I slammed it against the wall when I couldn't figure out where the batteries went. Of course, I know now I was suffering from premenstrual syndrome. <laughs> Radio, what did I just hear? Oh, yes. The Antilly family selling KPPD. Hmm. I wonder how much radio stations sell for. Miss Clary, you should buy KPPD. You got plenty of money. What would I do with a radio station? Oh, business never interested me. Lord took care of all that stuff. Shelby, I hope you and Jackson will be as happy as Lord and I were. We had such a good time. Until November. Well, at least he hung on through the state playoffs. Miss Clary, there are still good times to be had. Well, I really do love football. But it's hard to parlay that into a reason to live. <laughs> what are your colors, Shelby? They're blush and bashful. Ooh. Her colors are pink and pink. My colors are blush and bashful, Mama. How precious is this wedding going to get, I ask you? My colors are blush and bashful. I have chosen two shades of pink. One is much deeper than the other. But the bridesmaid's dresses, they are really beautiful. Ceremony will be, too. The walls are banked with sprays of flowers in my two shades of blush and bashful. Pink carpets specially laid out for my service. And pink silk bunting draped over anything that would stand still. That sanctuary looks like it's been hosed down with Pepto-Bismol. I like pink. Pink is my signature color. How many bridesmaids? Nine. Nine? Good lord. Exactly. <gasps> Mama made me have my cousins in Margie St. Mary. Shelby, let's not go into this now. You know there was no way around it. It will be pretentious. And Daddy always says an ounce of pretension is worth a pound of manure. <laughs> oh, the poet laureate of Dogwood Lane. Mama, I wish you'd get off Daddy's back. Shelby, look, now I don't really want to Fill get us in on the reception. My reception, my reception. Ferns dancing, tons of people, every pink flower west of the Mississippi. Wedding cake in the dining room and the groom's cake hidden in the carport. Shelby and I, we agree on one thing. The, the groom's, groom's cake. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> it's in the shape of a giant armadillo. <laughs> An armadillo? You're joking, right? <laughs> no, Jackson wanted a cake in the shape of an armadillo, and he's got an aunt that makes them. It's unusual. It's repulsive. <laughs> it's got gray icing. <laughs> I can't even begin to think how you make gray icing. <laughs> Worse, the cake pot is red velvet cake. Blood red. People are going to be hacking into this poor animal that looks like it's bleeding to death. <laughs> the rehearsal supper was a real experience. Mommy, it wasn't that bad. Was that at Jackson's uncle's place on the river? Jackson comes from a good old Southern family with good old Southern values. Either shoot it, stuff it, or marry it. He's simply outdoorsy, that's all. Did y'all do anything especially romantic? We drove down to Frenchman's Point and went parking. Oh. oh, Shelby, really? Oh, Malin, leave her alone. This is my favorite part. 
This is the romantic part. Now, see, that's what really melts my butter. Well, then we went skinny dipping and we did things that frighten the fish. It's been a long time since we've had a youngster in this place. We talked and talked and talked. I love those kind of talks. In the arms of the man you love. Actually, we fought most of the time. You fought? Well, because I told him I wouldn't marry him. What? Why'd you go do a thing like that? Oh, it's okay now. We, we worked it all out. Oh, it's probably just one of those last-minute jitter things. No, but the wedding's still on. Well, thank goodness, because this is going in the hairdo hall of fame. Shelby, you scared us. That wasn't a nice thing to do to your mama. Never say a thing like that to a woman who's marinating 50 pounds of crab clogs. Oh, but the making up can be so romantic. I miss romance so much. Oh, truly. Can't be that bad. Oh, really now? Well, the last romantic thing my husband did for me was back in 1972. He enclosed this carport so I could support him. Well, Truvy, now, I think I have something that could cheer you up. Drum and I have been planning on talking to your husband about building a room under our house. Malin, are you serious? If you'll give Spud a job, I'll give you hot oil treatments for the rest of your life. <laughs> And now this looks pretty good. I think you know what you're doing. Thank you. Mrs. Eatonton, you have great hair. And your scalp's as clean as a whistle. I try. Well, it must run in the family. This young one's got the prettiest head of hair I ever had my hands in. So thick. Well, just cause I'm bragging on you don't mean you can get lazy on me. Hold your head up, Shelby. Stop it. Shelby? Shelby! Malin! I'll get some juice. Truvy, there's some candy in my purse. I have some up here. Shelby, Shelby, hold on. Clary's getting you some juice. Shelby, Shelby, Shelby. Should I get her a cookie? No, juice is better. Here's the juice. Shelby, Shelby, you need some juice. You need some juice. Stop it, Mama. Drink the juice. Please drink the juice. No! Stop it, Mama! In my purse. No, you didn't bring your purse, sweetheart. You didn't bring your purse. No, you didn't. No, here you go. No. Here you go. Drink some of this. It's not any wonder with all this running around and wet nonsense. Excuse me, should I call the doctor or something? No, no. She's a diabetic. She just has a little too much insulin. That's all. We we'll just get a little more in it. She'll be all right. If you don't leave me alone, I'm gonna leave. Oh, I'd love to see you try. Cooperate, please. Honey, drink, please. Come on now. Let a girl. Please. Yes, 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 yes. There you go. There you go. There, 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 there. there. That's a start. This one hit her fast. She's been so upset lately. Dr. Mitchell told her on her last appointment. Children aren't possible. Don't talk about me like I'm not here. <laughs> oh, 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 she's making some sense now. Yes, she is. This one was not bad at all. It was not bad at all. No, I think we need a little more juice. Could I do something to help? No, no. She'll be fine. Don't fuss over her. Normality is very important to Shelby. Here, Malin. Thanks. I am really sorry about the children part, Malin. I know. Shelby's afraid that Jackson will be throwing away his chance to have children. Jackson said, Shelby, don't be stupid. There's plenty of kids out there need good homes. Drink some. We'll adopt ten of them. We'll buy him if we have to. Jackson sounds like good people to me. Oh, Mama, I'm sorry. It's all right, honey. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's all, right. It's all over now. It's all over. You hold your juice. Okay. It's okay. all over. Hold your juice. Okay. All right. Oh, I'll fix it. We'll fix it. 